Hello everyone and welcome to the, I guess it was, will be considered like a prologue episode. This is just going to show us all of the officers that have made it into the game and then we will set up the initial starting of the actual campaign for Romance of the Three Kingdoms 11. So let us, or let me show you everyone who has currently made it into the game in alphabetical order. There are 132 of you. I'm not going to say your names out loud, but this is, we're just going to run through and highlight so you can see what your portrait looks like. And that's, uh, that's going to be it. I'm going to make this very quick. You have two Alu cards, apple pie. Some of you are going to be leaders. Some of you have sworn spouses with each other. Not everyone does. Like, let's click on Archon Bat. Archon Bat, you are a spouse to Kiwi Meat, so you two are married. Your sworn siblings are Lu Jiang and Murdad. You have liked officers and disliked officers, but not everybody has like a spouse or sworn siblings. Some of you do. Most of you at least have liked officers and disliked officers, which can kind of be a bigger factor within the actual game. But anyway, uh, let's see, what was that? Archon Bat, Eagle, Mac, Ba. You can kind of see your stats over there on the right side. Everyone's birth is 165, so that we're all going to be, I believe, like 20 or 25 years old at the start of the scenario. Because I don't want anyone going into the scenario as either too young to actually be an officer or like 90 years old. So we had to make sure that all of the um, dates lined up. Also, there was a limit to how many characters we can have in the name it was set to 12 between the surname and the uh first name first name and last name so if your entire name did not make it in then i apologize but there's only 12 characters that we could use between both and also if you see a dot at the end of your name that is because i did not have your name split in half between a uh, first name and a last name so that means that your last name or technically i think first name in this game uh, is a period but it, it's fine. That's why you see a lot of, of uh, periods here. Now, not everybody, as I stated in the recruiting episode, is going to be a hero or a general or a strategist. Because there's got to be a lot of people who are just going to be the average day-to-day -day officers. So I apologize if you don't like the stats that you are seeing for your character. But it was all rolled randomly. There were a lot of strategists, though. It was mainly standard officers, because the way I did it, I rolled a 1d20. 1 through 10 was a standard officer. 11 through 15, I believe, was a um, general. Then 16 through 18 was a strategist. And then 19 or 20 was a hero, which basically determined your like how many stats you had and what stats were higher. Uh, like strategists favored political and intelligence. Generals favored war and charisma, I believe. And then heroes just have high stats all around. And then the standard soldiers, usually like their highest stats would be maybe in the 40s or like 50s, but generally pretty low. And that's how I did it. And we got a lot of standard officers and then a lot of advisors. There are, I think there was like only five, six-ish hero characters that I rolled. So that's how many 19 or 20s that I rolled in the 132 of you. I believe it was around six. I don't remember every single one of you who became a hero, but you can just tell by the stats over here who the heroes like. Uh, Tertullian was probably a hero with stats like that, and not just a strategist or a general. But there we go. So those are all of the names of the people who have made it into the game. Again, each of you or some of you have spouses, liked officers, disliked officers, and I think that's going to do it for the first part. The second part of this video, which I'm going about to transition into, is just going to be the setup of the campaign. I'm not going to show creating every single force because that's kind of time consuming. I'm just going to show you after all the forces are created and where you are located in uh, China. So let's get to that part. And here is the beginning, or actually I guess the setup of the actual campaign for our game of Romance of the Three Kingdoms 11. Um, I did want to try to split everybody out into a force at the beginning, so I have all of you assigned to 16 different leaders, which would have been pulled from all of you. But, unfortunately, we can only actually have 8 forces out there, and I didn't want to have everybody with, um, I believe it would have been like around 16 officers each, because that would have been really super powerful. So not everybody is going to be assigned at the beginning. But as you can see here, our leaders, I pulled just from who had the highest leadership. 
and then I gave us all at least one uh, general class and one strategist class. Class. So basically, people who had the highest uh, like war stats, and then people who had the highest intelligence and political. It just says P-O-L. I think that's political. Um, so anyway, leaders are going to be, well, me, because that's who we're playing as. Uh, we also have King Bloob, Lee Kwon Ho, Gu Moots, Smile Lee, Tran125, Dong Shar, and Apple Pie. Where we're currently stationed at would be me. So we're over here next to King Bloob. Um, Lee Kwon Ho, I believe, is down there. Gu Moots, I think, is in the center. Yep, uh, in Zhu Cheng. Smile Lee is... Well, there's Tran. Uh, Tran's there. I know Dongshar is here. Smiley... There we go. Smiley is also kind of in the middle in Jiang Ling. Uh, who else do we have? Apple Pie is there. And I, that would be all of us. So we're kind of um, on the southern half. I didn't have any spots open in the north because we're, I chose Dong Zhuo's Rise. I, I kind of wanted to choose the one before this, which would be the Yellow Turban Rebellion, because there was just a ton of spots open that we could take. But again, we could only have eight forces anyway, so I decided to do Dong Shou's Rise, because there's a lot of different other warlords in here, and there's only a couple free spaces here and there with these uh, white spaces, or free cities, that we can take when the game actually uh, starts. So, who is assigned to all of us? Well, here we go. So, for the force, here we go. So, we'll start here. For Tran 125, we have Keep a Snow, Pandemonius, Hakim, Dredius, Zarkus, Wincor, Hobos Forever, and Necromancer. For me, we have Arathon, Rose, Warboss Boomjaw, Sir Gui Haume, Sir Gui, uh, Rig Rorig, Romulus Numa, Black Lotus, Ding Kai. For Smile Lee, we have Black Steel, Dragonaut, Z Lee, Squirrel Knight, Rikair Duseng, Arkanthul, uh, Xiao Tutsi, Tuzi, and Jersey Uchiha. For Lee Kwang Ho, we got Rasmus Falk, Sid Amos, Shin Dragon, Goon Dog, Lito, Alex Lopez, Nathan C, and Mango Mussolini. I think it's supposed to be Mussolini, but ran out of space for the uh, name. King Bloob is Seth Hillel, Kenobi, Spicy Baguette, uh, Lu Jiang, Sin Mora, Nikolai, Dark Phantom, Shi Zi Wang. Then for Gamuts, we have Kai Ding, Strider 1000, Tamir Red, Sensual Bob Ross, Kevin Kekse. Kiwi Meat, Sile Sian Us, uh, Mr. Wilhelm, and then Dong, Dong Shar has Tertillion, Excision, Nico, Ka Nico, uh, Kind X Sparta, Jon Snow, Lise Dwin, Ubermania, uh, Cheng Zhe, and yeah, Cheng Zhe. Then for Apple Pie, the last one we have Sao Kazuto, Jasir, G. Ko. I I'm sorry, I'm about the pronunciations, friends. Uh, Guy Violi, Otsun1602, Akanishi, Ara um, Arak, Narak, and then Ladima. And then everybody else I assigned throughout all of China as free officers, because, well, I didn't I didn't want to put all of, you, all of you into the eight forces. Because, again, that would just make us all way too powerful, I think, at the beginning of the game. Could have. Maybe if we do this again, and I will assign everybody. But that is going to be the setup for... January 190, 190, 190, whatever, uh, Dong Zhuo's Rise, and the introduction of eight different warlords that history maybe has forgotten about. And then all of our friends down here, so hopefully, throughout this campaign, I will be able to, well, one, win, because, you know, we always want to win. Two, be able to absorb all of you. I don't know if there's a limit to how many officers you can have within your empire. Hopefully I can get all of you. But um, that's going to be the goal. Try and collect you all. We'll send out officers to try and find all of you if we can. I'll try and get all of you under one umbrella, which is under, you know, me. And that's it, everybody. So that's going to do it for the, I guess this would be like a prologue episode, just to show who was in the game and where we are all going to start. The next episode will be episode one. I hope you, look all, or <laughs> I hope you all look forward to it. I will see you next time. Take care, everybody.